let's talk a little bit about uh, overall hardware design nowadays because I am a little bit far from it. So you are inside of uh, the hardware engineering. How hot is this industry overall? How like how often new things pop up? So like, you know, you got to always learn new things and like you are always on the edge of something new or everything was invented, like let's say 20 years ago. So like you just need to know the job to do and like, you know, kind of creating these devices using more and more modern uh, parts, so to say. Uh, it depends on the industry. So if you are in automotive, uh, it's pretty strict uh, and it's always on a safe side so uh, you won't get uh, a lot of uh, cutting-edge technology there but uh, no offense <laughs> car guys <laughs> oh, they'll hate me yeah but uh, on the other hand you have consumer electronics uh, you have uh, different aerospace stuff Imagine we do aerospace stuff in Ukraine and uh, it's cool, we even build rockets in Dnieper. Uh, so if you want, you can find something for yourself. It just depends on your considerations. I would say uh, you should keep your knowledge updated, of course. No one wants to get outdated, but uh, people with I mean, who got education 20 years ago, there is still, uh, nothing has changed in basic physics in mass. You can use this knowledge. I see. So the basics are there, but well, little things that matter are still need to be picked up uh, during your career. Perfect. I assume there may be some young people who are thinking about the career in hardware engineering. Maybe they are choosing in between of like different uh, engineering subsection so to say what advice would you give them after your years in the industry after your years of uh, engineering itself the CTO role that you were handling what 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 uh, should they know and what should they do to become uh, that cool <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay so uh, if electronics is a hobby for you uh, then your uh, job experience would be totally different if you had experience in a small company, a big company would be different to a small company. Uh, so you just have to try once. It's hard to explain, hard to, to express in words. But uh, I would advise uh, not to be afraid. Uh, and if you start, just keep asking questions. Don't hesitate and uh, people around will help you to get in to get on board uh, never be afraid to try <laughs> good good i'm hoping people will not uh, and one more question probably one of the last ones uh, there might be businesses or businessmen now watching us and uh, kind of hesitating whether or not uh, moving this function of hardware engineering to near shore destination or offshore destination doesn't matter much so taking it out of their own country now uh, what advice would you give them to to go or not to go and why okay um, I would say uh, you should visit the site yourself and see uh, just talk to people come here uh, see a future employees and keep in mind that uh, you will have to come here every time you hire a new person. It's all right. And uh, the other thing to keep in mind is uh, at some moment you will have to invest in the site. Uh, buy equipment, buy disposables, it's inevitable. Uh, if those two things does not scare you, then uh, again, we have great minds, we have great talents. So, don't be afraid.